Good morning children. After understanding what is fraction in the previous video, today we are going to solve questions of exercise 29. So without wasting any time, let's start with question number 1. Shade with a pencil one half or half of each of the following figures. Now here, you can see these figures are given and all these figures are divided into two equal halves using these dotted lines. Now we have to shade half of each of these figures. So it is very simple. With the help of a pencil, we have to shade one half of these following figures. So let's start shading. So as we have to shade one part, there are total two parts out of which we have to take one part into consideration. So we will be shading one part of each of the following figures. So as you can see, figure number B, this is a figure of Z. This is also divided into two parts using this dotted line. So in this way, whenever we have to shade one half of any given figure, first we will divide the figure into two equal halves and then we will shade only one half as we are doing here. Now this is figure E and E is also divided here with this dotted line. So we will shade any one half. So here I am shading this half. You can shade any half whichever you prefer. So you see question number one is very simple. You just have to shade half of each of these given figures. Now let's move on to question number two. Shade with a pencil one third or one by three of each of the following figures. Now children in this question you can see there are four parts. Now similar to question number one, in this question we have to shade one third of each of the four figures which are provided. You can see these figures are already divided into three equal parts using the dotted lines. So we have to shade any one part out of all the three parts which are given over here. So let's do the shading. So in the first figure here we have shaded one part out of the three parts which are given. Similarly, in the second shape also, we will shade one part out of the three parts. And similarly for question number C also, we will shade one part, any one part you can shade. So we will shade one part out of the three parts of this triangle. Similarly for question number D also, you can see this figure is divided into three equal triangles. So out of the three equal triangles, we will shade any one of them. So here I'm shading this one. So in this way, we have shaded one third or you can say one by three of each of the figures which are given in question number two. Let's move on to question number three. Shade with a pencil three fourths or three by four of each of the following figures. Now here also there are three parts. You can see each of the figures which are given in question number three are divided into four equal parts. And out of four equal parts, we have to shade three parts. Remember children, numerator is the number of parts which we have to take into consideration. So whatever number is written in the numerator, those many parts we have to shade. Now here we have to shade three parts out of the four parts which are given in each of the following figures. So it's very simple. Here you can see in figure number A, we have shaded three parts out of the four parts in which this triangle is divided into. Now for question number B also, this flower has got four petals. Out of the four petals, we will shade any three petals. So here we do the shading of any three petals. So I hope children you can understand that this fraction is very easy. You just have to understand what is numerator and what is denominator. And based on that, whatever question is given to you, you have to understand that and then you have to do it accordingly. Now similarly for question number C also, the star is given and the star is divided into four equal parts using these dotted lines. Now out of the four parts, we have to shade how many parts? We have to shade three parts. So three parts we will shade like this. Let's move to question number four. Shade with a pencil two fifths or two by five of each of the following figures. Now here this question has got three parts and you can see each of these three parts, each of these three figures are divided into five equal parts. So we have to shade how many parts? You can see the numerator is given two. So out of the five parts in each of the following figures, we have to shade any two parts. So let's start with question number A. Here you can see there are five blocks. Out of the five blocks, we have to shade any two blocks. So let's start the shading. So children, now you can understand that fraction is not very complicated. It is not very difficult. You just have to understand what is numerator, 
what is denominator what do they mean and then based on your understanding you have to solve the questions children whenever you are solving any question make sure you read the question properly reading and understanding the question is very important so here you can see in part b we have shaded two parts out of the five parts which are given over here in this picture similarly in part c also you can see this circle is divided into five parts so out of the five parts we have shaded two parts so in this way we have done question number 4 let's move on to question number 5 shade a part of each hole to represent the given fraction so children here you can see for each image the fractions are given we have to shade these figures according to the fractions which are given below so children let's start with part a now you can see a triangle is given and this triangle is divided into six equal parts now out of these six equal parts how many parts do we have to shade here you can see 1 by 6 is given so we will shade any one part out of the six parts which are given in this triangle now let's move to part b now in this figure you can see this figure is divided into eight equal parts and out of eight equal parts we have to shade how many parts you can see the numerator is 3 it means we have to shade three parts out of these total eight parts so let's do the shading of these three parts so children for these kind of questions you have to observe the numerator as well as the denominator very carefully let's move on to part c now you can see this is a square a big square and this big square is divided into 16 equal parts now the fraction which is given over here is 9 by 16 it means out of these 16 equal parts we have to shade how many parts we have to shade nine parts nine is the numerator so we have to shade nine parts so let's shade nine parts out of these 16 parts so in this way we have done part c let's move on to part d now here in part d we can see there are total nine equal blocks now out of nine equal blocks how many blocks we have to shade you can see the numerator is 4 it means we have to shade four blocks out of the total nine blocks so let's do the shading of four blocks Let's move to part E. Now here you can see there is a big triangle and this big triangle is divided into nine smaller triangles which are of equal size. So out of these nine triangles how many triangles we have to shade? You can see the numerator is 5. It means we have to shade any five triangles. So let's do the shading of these five triangles. Here I have taken the bottom five triangles. You can see 1 2 3 4 5 there are five triangles at the bottom of this big triangle. so i'm shading these five triangles let's move to part f now here the fraction which is given is 3 by 6 so you can see this figure is divided into six equal parts and out of six equal parts we have to shade three parts as the numerator is 3 so let's shade any three parts out of these six parts in this given figure so children you can see these questions are so easy and they are full of fun just we have to see the fraction which is given and based on that we have to do the shading let's move on to part g you can see the figure which is given in part g has 11 equal blocks and out of 11 equal blocks we have to shade how many blocks we have to shade seven blocks as the numerator which is given over here is seven so let's shade any seven blocks in this figure so in this way we have done part g let's move on to part h now here in part h also you can see this figure is divided into eight equal triangles out of eight equal triangles how many parts we have to shade we have to shade five so this is also very simple five triangles out of eight triangles we have to shade so let's do the shading so children in this way we have done part h let's move on to part i now here you can see this figure is divided into 16 parts you can see these lines are there when you will count them you will come to know that there are 16 triangles in this big square so out of these 16 triangles how many triangles we have to shade you can see the numerator which is given over here is 13 it means out of 16 parts we have to shade 13 parts so this is also very simple so let's do the shading of this picture so children in this way we have completed question number 5 let's move on to the next page and start with question number 6 for each of the following figures write the fraction showing the unshaded parts now children here you can see In question number six, there are six parts, and children, in this question there is a twist. Instead of considering the shaded parts, in this question we have to consider the unshaded parts. So we have to write the fractions for these figures 
considering the unshaded parts. So let's start with part A. Now here you can see this figure is divided into 8 equal triangles. You can count them. And now out of 8 equal triangles, how many unshaded parts are there? We can see that there are 4 unshaded parts are there. So the fraction for this particular image will be, numerator will be 4 because 4 is the number of unshaded parts and total number of parts is 8. So denominator will be 8. So the fraction for this particular image will be 4 by 8. Let's move on to question number B. In part B, you can see this circle is divided into 12 equal parts. So as the total number of parts is 12, so denominator will be 12. And then let's count the number of unshaded parts. So after counting, we'll come to know that there are 7 unshaded parts. So the numerator will be 7. So the fraction for part B will be 7 by 12. Let's move on to part C. Now here you can see this rectangle is there and this rectangle is divided into 8 equal parts. Now since the total number of parts is 8, so denominator will be 8 and the number of unshaded parts is 5. So we will write 5 as the numerator. So the fraction for this particular image in part C will be 5 by 8. Let's move on to part D. You can see this hexagon figure is there and this hexagon is divided into 12 equal triangles. You can count them. And since the total number of parts in which this hexagon is divided into is 12, so the denominator will be 12 and the total number of unshaded parts is 5, so the numerator will be 5. So the fraction for this particular figure which is given in part D is 5 by 12. Let's move on to part E. The figure which is given in part E is divided into 16 equal parts and out of these 16 equal parts, there are 7 unshaded parts. So since the total number of parts in which this figure is divided into is 16, so denominator will be 16 and the number of unshaded parts is 7, so numerator will be 7. So the fraction for the figure which is given in part E will be 7 by 16. Let's move on to part F. This figure which is given in part F is divided into 13 equal blocks. So it means our denominator will be 13. And since the number of unshaded parts is 5, so our numerator will be 5. So this is very simple. The fraction for this particular image will be 5 by 13. So in this way we have done question number 6. Let's move on to question number 7. Write the fraction for each of the following fractional numbers. One has been done for you. Now children here, fractional numbers are given and based on these fractional numbers we have to write the fraction. Whenever fractional numbers are given, first the numerator, the first part is numerator, then there is a hyphen and then the part which is written is the denominator. So like in part A, 2 fifths is written as a fractional number. It means 2 is the numerator and fifths is the denominator, total number of parts in which the whole is divided into. So the fraction for this fractional number which is given in part A will be 2 by 5. So children, this question is very simple. First, you will write the numerator, which is the first number which is written. And then the other part which is written is the denominator. So all these questions you will do by yourself. You will first write the numerator and then you will write the denominator. Now let's move on to question number 8. Write the fractional number for each of the following fractions. One has been done for you. Now this is also very simple. This is just opposite to question number 7. In question number 7, the fractional numbers were given and we had to write the related fraction. In this question, fractions are given and we have to write their fractional numbers. So this is also very simple. Only the thing is you should know how to write the fractional numbers. Whenever we write the fractional numbers, first we write the numerator, then we put a dash and then we write the denominator, which is the total number of parts in which the whole is divided into. So this is also very simple. So children, in today's class, we did exercise 29. I hope you all enjoyed this video and understood that fraction is not something from which we should be afraid of. Fraction is very simple and it is very easy. You just have to have the right mindset and think that you are going to play a game. So if you'll have that kind of mindset, you will enjoy doing fraction. In the next video, we will do exercise 30. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Let's meet in the next video. All the best.